It's December. And, and I know for some of you that excites you and for others, not so much. This time of year is supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year, but it, it comes with a lot of baggage, doesn't it? This month, I, I wanna share with you a passage that, that I think can drastically impact our experience of Christmas. It, it's found in Philippians chapter four, and Paul's writing to the church at Philippi, and, and he says something really interesting to them in chapter four, verse eight. He says this, he says, and now dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Paul's writing to them and he says, he says I want for you to be intentional about what it is that, that consumes your thoughts, what it is that your thoughts are fixed upon. And he says, I, I, want for you, I want for you to be intentional with this. I want you to fix your thoughts. I want for your thoughts to be consumed by those things that are lovely and admirable and pure and, and good. It's interesting in life how our thoughts can be consumed by something. It, it's interesting how often what consumes our thoughts, what our thoughts are fixed upon is the thing that worries us. It's, it's the negative comment that that we heard in our last review by our boss or, or, or the fight that we, that we had with, with our spouse the night before and, and, and that one line that, that just won't go away. There's there these things that can consume us and, and all too often, all too often they're not things that are good or admirable or pure or worthy of praise. And Paul says, listen, I, I want for you to not just, not just get rid of those thoughts, but I want for you to embrace, I want for you to fill your mind, I want for you to fill your thoughts with that which is good and lovely and pure and right. So often there are lies that, are, that try to work their way into our thoughts, they can consume us. And at the end of the day, they can destroy us. And Paul says, I want for you to be intentional about this control what it is that your thoughts are fixed upon. He's not saying ignore the other things, but he's saying don't allow them to be what consume you. Give them the time that, that, they, that they need and that they deserve, but give them no more. Allow your thoughts to be consumed by that which is good and right. It's amazing in my life, when I, when I take the time to think about the good and the, and the admirable that God has poured into my life, it, it doesn't just change my thoughts, it changes changes my whole experience of life. It changes what's happening in my, in my soul. And this is exactly what he says. He, he says, I want for you to take control of, of what consumes your thoughts. And then listen again to how he ends it. He says, then the God of peace will be with you. So then you're gonna be able to experience God and, and God's peace in, in a way that you wouldn't have otherwise. My, my prayer for us, as we sit with this passage this month, is that we would experience just that. That this Christmas, we would experience our God, the God of peace. And that this Christmas, that this month of December, would be a month of peace. Merry Christmas, and have a great, December.